Good everyone, and welcome to this video, and today it's a review on the CW21 Demon, and oh my giddy aunt. <laughs> Let's, let me tell you, this thing was a absolute, well, demon is the best way to describe this thing. Now, I don't know much about this plane, I'm going to say that right away, but um, it essentially, from what I heard from Hairy Feet, it has the same engine as the B-17 Fly Fortress, so it's got a good engine in it, at least. And, oh my Jesus. <laughs> this thing outclimbs the MC-205 like it was a freaking PO-2. Like, oh my god, this thing's ridiculous. First flight, which is not today's battle, um, because it took me three flights to spade the same second one I died to a guy who I'm fairly certain was cheating, but that's a story for another day. Um, and <sighs> first flight, I thought for a laugh because I've seen people do it. I'll stick this thing up at a thirty degree angle, and let me tell you, this thing kept climbing. It kept going to about ten thousand feet. And then I had to put it to 25. What on God's earth? <laughs> and I'm not even religious and I'm saying God's earth. <laughs> oh my God. And well, the firepower is pretty brutal with 250 cals, 230 cals. You don't get any extra ordnance, but you don't need it, to be truthfully honest. This thing's a pure supportable air superiority fighter and will. I think this thing could probably hold its own at 2.7, to put that into context. Um, it is absolutely ridiculous in the way it handles. To put it into perspective, it has the damage model of a Key 43, because it can't take a hit at all. Um, it has the wings of, well, not even Stellinium is this tough. Um, you could basically ram into people with these wings and get an air kill essentially. Um, the actual climb rate is comparable to, well, if it, 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 if it can climb a 205, that's when you know it's good. And, well, in fact, no, good is an understatement. It's insane. Um, firepower is pretty comparable to a P-36G, obviously two less 30 cals. Um, the P-66 Vanguard has the same um, guns as the Seahawk, although obviously the Vanguard is apparently worse. Still haven't spaded it. Um, I Obviously I'm doing these three today and then obviously got to go to spade that. Um, and I just think that this aircraft is a bit insane. It should not be a BR-17. I think it could easily go up to 27, maybe even 3 with its performance. Even if you didn't nerf the flight model, which I think this thing needs to be nerfed. It really does. You will see what I mean. But anyway, less about me gawking and saying, oh my giddy aunt, which I haven't said in years. Let's have a look. <laughs> I felt dirty. I honestly felt dirty flying this plane. And I forgot to show you the stats of the Martin 139. Not really anything interesting. Um, I literally only got one base kill, which you saw in that game, and a total of 20 grand targets, so I'm not going to bother um, showing you that. But the stats in this plane... <laughs> um, obviously, the one death to the guy who I thought was cheating. Fairly certain. Judging by the performance that he did. Um, it was a MiG-3, and essentially I pulled a very, very sharp turn, which he should never have followed me in. And... Hmm. He was able to pull off a shot that a MiG-3, even though I've heard the MiG-3 has been buffed, and I have test flown it, and I don't even think it could pull off the shot it did, he still pulled it off, so... I don't know, but we're not here to discuss that, but as you can fucking see, this thing just sticks its nose into the sky and climbs like a homesick angel. I thought the Key 27 climbed like a freaking god at this battle rating, but at least the Key 27 is, well, hampered by its weaker armament than this thing and Japanese fragileness. 
to t put the turn rate of this play into perspective, because not many people discuss the turn rate, it turns similar to a hawk. Um, at least I find it to sort of turn similar to a hawk. You obviously have your own opinion if you've spaded this plane, or if you're looking forward to this plane. Um, it flies very similar to a hawk in a dogfight, but with far superior energy retention. Like, I don't think I've ever flown a plane that can do this sort of climb. I mean, we're at a 20, no, I think we're at 25 to 30 at this point. And it's just keeping on going. I'm not, I'm only, in fact, no. I was a quarter spaded in this game. A quarter. And it's already at 10,000 feet. Fair enough, we started at like 5k. Um, obviously in feet, not meters. Um, and this thing's just keeping on going. Now there is one player on the enemy team who for some reason had a real fetish for me. Um, his name is Anton Jorvodka. I actually told people about this guy at college today because obviously they obviously watch my videos and stuff and they're asking like what's up coming and well I told them about the demon and I said this guy would make an appearance and well I'm not bullshitting this guy is going to make an appearance. He's a level 100 who obviously we're both in the CW21s we obviously have one on my team well no two on my team sorry because there's another player in a CW and we have obviously me versus this guy in his lone CW21 but does he do anything for his team? Does he fuck? <laughs> he could have easily cleaned up my team because it got to around this point when obviously I spotted him and I knew he was there that I was looking around checking the stat cards with my players and all that and I knew immediately this was going to be a rough battle but to be honest, there's only real two threats to this aircraft. And that's, well, first of all, a MiG-3, because obviously it gets a decent air spawn and climbs like stink. I've always said the MiG-3 does not need its air spawn, but Gaijin seems to think it does. And obviously with the, well, with the buff to the MiG-3, it's actually pretty more, well, it's actually much better to fly now, so that's always nice. But here you can see, obviously, Anton your vodka. He is coming just for me. The original plan was to bring him to the A29, so the A29 can use his back gunner and give me a hand and at least distract him. However, the A29 is several miles away bombing an airbase, which I don't like. Well, bombing a base, I don't blame him. So I think at this point, right, sod it, I'm going to return to base. Most of my teams are biplanes. Um, the enemy team have more monoplanes. I'm just going to go back to base. I'm going to J out, and I'm going to, I'm going to spade this in another battle. No, this Antonio Vodka does not want me to get away, and I honestly don't know why. Because, well, I've lost all... I've put my nose down, kid, and I'm on the deck, pretty much. We're at 5,000 feet, but this is a... This is quite a high up in the mountain sort of map so that's why it is shall I say at an altitude where you would typically engage in lower tier games such as rank one and stuff like that on normal maps but because of this map it is a bit different I think this is a Middle Eastern map or something I, I don't tend to remember the map names I just see them and go oh it's this map or oh god it's this map <laughs> So at this point, I'm getting sick and tired of this guy's shit. I know he's going to catch me, because quite clearly he's spaded. I'm not. And I think, okay, let's try an old trick. However, I almost black out pulling that turn. I lose a flap, and he's still coming right for me. So I'm right, right, I'm going to fuck this guy's day up. I throw the CW around, fire off a burst. I missed, he breaks off a flap. I retract my flap, and we're now into a fierce dogfight. We're putting our planes at full power here and we're gonna see who's gonna win but he fucks it up he he makes a really weird turn he then pulls it into the vertical when I'm already behind him and well I blow his plane to pieces and at that moment I actually said fuck you obviously I wasn't 
on voice comms with anyone. I was just on my own and just thought in my head, fuck you, pal. Because, well, what did he do for his team? Chasing me that far. Oh, but don't worry, the scumbaggery is going to get even worse. Remember that MiG-3? Well, he's coming to Mulch. Hampton obviously coming in to land, we've got a... I think that was an SB coming in to land. And he's going right for the fucking Vulch. He knows exactly that these planes are trying to land. I score a couple of hits, but obviously this guy's going like a bat out of hell to go and vulch these aircraft on the runway. I did actually break one of my own rules here, and the Hampton actually... Well, in fact, no, it wasn't the Hampton. Well, at least I don't think it was the Hampton. It must have been the AA and the Hampton was going to get credit for it, but I was so pissed off at this guy for doing this. I mean, he's just he's just killed that SP-2M. I believe that SP-2M is out of the game. And you can see he's going for the freaking Hampton now. He's damaged the Hampton pretty severely. And, yeah, it was AA that caused it. Um, and I'm just so pissed off at this guy. I just blow him to bits. Absolute scumbag. But, hey ho, he got sent back to the hangar. I think the SB repairs. As far as I remember, he does repair, but, no oh wait, no he's not. He's just jayed out of the plane. Guess he couldn't repair. But, oh my god. That's two scumbags in one game. Hooray. But, in terms of ammo, I'm still good on ammo. Obviously, fired a bit at the piece with a CW21. Fired a bit at the big. I've still got a good amount of ammunition. One thing I forgot to point out. Um, <sighs> this thing's got the war belts in the 50 cals. If you don't know what I mean, um, obviously, normally, this sort of BR, you would have the pre-war belts, which are AP, 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 I think it's an insignia round, and then a tracer. I know there's a tracer in there somewhere, at least. No. This thing has API, 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 T, I. It has the war belts, which, if you've flown your Hellcats and your... Well... It, it does have a similar belt configuration to a P-51 Mustang, but, well, the D models at least. But, um, they obviously get the M-20 APIT round, but, um, another example would be, I've got to think now, you can hit the woodburn and the cogs turning. <laughs> I mean, the reason why I'm not so switched on with my brain today is because I had to sit in a session for an hour, which is part of tutorial and stuff like that as you come in for the first few weeks of the year two and I was sat for an hour listening to shit I already knew about and I was dying of boredom so you can sort of understand why my brain switched off but I, I did find this adorable that this Stuka tried this the Stuka comes out of a attack run with his front guns and he pulls it vertical but nah I'll just loop around like you're nothing and, well, there's nothing this Stuka can do. I mean, just look at that. That was a single burst and it basically blew him in half. Like, nah. Th this thing needs a nerf, or at least a BR increase. Like, <laughs> I don't know how many were sent to China, though, in terms of, like, the Chinese Air Force. I think it was a only a handful. If you want more updated, well if you want more facts shall we say, go to Harry Feet's channel, fourth kill there. Um, he knows a lot more than what I do, that's for certain, when it comes to aircraft like this. But um, I'm not certain which company built the CW-21, I do know for a fact the P-66 Vanguard was built by Volti. That is pretty much all I know about it, and that it was a part of shit, and it was also used as grand targets by the Japanese. That's how bad it was. <laughs> they, did, they didn't even get to use them. You may have noticed as well that AA gun did not have a marker. This map has a small bug where the AAA guns on this side of the map don't have markers. Just bear that in mind. 
So at this point, me and this other CW21 are moving in this Stuka. The Stuka pilot, though, does a bit of a cheeky move. He waits for the CW21 to my left to get in close. Obviously, he's going to react accordingly. And... Well, the Stuka drops his air brakes, which I don't think the CW pilot expected. Obviously, I saw the air brakes when I got to around... Well, in a couple of seconds, you'll see when I spot the air brakes. I spot them here, but I'm down to 30 cals at this point, which are uh, not very powerful, but if you hit the pilot, they do the job nicely. And that was my ace in this aircraft. I mean, fair enough, three of them were Stukas, but those poor sods couldn't do anything. <laughs> so... <laughs> I mean, there is a couple of AA guns, but I'm going to leave it there. I just, <sighs> I'm so disgusted by this plane, but I'm so shocked by it as well. So, CW-21, highly recommend spading it because it'll probably get nerfed by the time the Chinese aircraft come out for the 3D play players. Obviously, I'm still waiting on the tanks, so I'm glad I've got at least a fighter that can murder anything it sees. So that's always nice. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys off. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the CW21. Highly, highly recommend Spade in this plane. Because no doubt this thing's going to go up in BR. I'll catch you all on the next one.